What is up guys, Scouty here. So today I realized that my last kill feed video actually one got a lot of hits, but it was pretty shitty to be honest. It was made back before I had this new microphone and before I actually kind of knew what I was doing. So I decided that today I'm going to actually make another one, an updated video. I kind of promised this like six months ago, but now it's actually coming out. Woo! Yay! Alright, so, the first thing we're gonna do is import our footage to After Effects. Uh, I have mine on my desktop, but make sure it's basically your final product. So, it's gotta be the green screen with your actual gun. So, something I have here, I'll point out, he has the kill screen, uh, kill feeds up here. We're just gonna add them over here, like have them float. I've seen this in a lot of, uh, videos, kinda like Suki's Black Hole Sun. I probably butchered his name, but that was one of the most popular edits with this effect. All right, so the first thing you're going to do with uh, once your footage is in here is you're going to make sure that there aren't any scenes where a op is scoped in because if the op is scoped in, then you're messed up. Uh, it'll change basically the field of view so the computer gets really confused. Another thing you should worry about is effects like fire or basically any moving effect that's on the screen. We don't have any barrels of fire or anything like that, so you don't need to worry about that. So once you go over to your effects and presets tab, it's super easy. You just gotta type in the word tracker. Uh, in the perspective group, there will be the 3D camera tracker. We're gonna drag that on top of our footage and it's gonna analyze it. From here on out, you can change things like uh, how detailed you want it. If you want it to be more detailed, I think this doubles the amount of points it tracks. Uh, you can click this button. I'm not gonna do that because I'm trying to save time. This will also count how many frames you have and how much time it predicts you have remaining. So once this gets finished, we'll go to the next step. Alright guys, so once that's done, your screen should look something like this. You should have a bunch of points on your screen and a little bullseye should appear and create triangles in between those points. If you get something like this where there's a bunch, don't worry, just go out to the main part of the screen and you should find some decently placed ones. If your camera saw fails, again, something you can do is you can uh, convert it to 30 FPS. Usually if it's a higher frame rate, the better, but like putting it 30 also takes less time and sometimes it just doesn't mess up as bad. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to select a pretty decent looking triangle. This one seems pretty accurate. It's all on the same level. They're all on decent points. You're going to want to right click it and create null in camera. So this is your tracked null. So this is the point that all your text is going to basically revolve around. So what text do you ask though? I'm glad you asked. So we're going to have to go to this website. I'll have the link in the description. Oh look, a bunch of funny memes that I forgot to get out of Chrome. So. We're going to go over here to Kill Feed Generator. How many death notices? I'm just going to make one because I'm a loser. So, we are a CT because we have the USP. We're going to call it uh, Scouty. And then we're going to say OT Nasty. So, and then you're making sure that you killed the right people with uh, USP. Or whatever weapon you used. Silencer is on. Wasn't a wall bang. Wasn't... It might have been a headshot, I don't know, but it doesn't really have to be that accurate. Make sure you have no kill border because uh, kill borders look kind of unprofessional. So once you do, go ahead and click generate. It might take a moment. And there you have it. So what you can do now is go to download kill feed, right click, and save the image. So, once that's done, I'm just going to drag it into my project and put it here. So, obviously that's not tracked or anything, so we need to track it up. First thing you want to do is go ahead and click this little, uh, hold this little like squiggly line and drag it to the word tractional one. Once it's there, you can click this little cube. Now, it looks like it's on the ground, but we don't want it on the ground. We want it flowing, floating kind of like right here. So, what we're going to do is go to our pointer. We're going to drag it up. We're going to want to make sure that it's near our gun when we shoot for the first time. So let's say right about here. Uh, 
me make sure that it's pretty accurate. It was a headshot. I feel bad that I messed that up, but okay, he shoots right now. So, now we're gonna try and get this as accurately as possible. So, the word is right here, and we can make sure that that's in a decent position by moving around a little bit. Now we're gonna rotate it to face us, go to the x-axis to rotate it 90 degrees towards us, and then 90 degrees-ish. You can hold shift to get these, like, ticks. So that seems pretty accurate. Now I'm gonna move it a little bit more so it looks like that which I would say is pretty good now you could also have tracked the actual gun that way it would stay with you like a kind of HUD I didn't do that because I kind of want it to stay in the place so he walks past the kill feed so now that that's done though because we know he shoots right here ish yeah we're going to do control shift D to split the footage so that way okay, there's no kill feed and there is now we got to animate it so when you're animating it you got to go over here go to transform click opacity and set that down to zero make sure you click this little stopwatch so you are keyframing it now I'd go about one two, oh wait I forgot this isn't Vegas law you're gonna do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten frames in Click this button to add another keyframe, and then drag it all the way up to 100. Now, as you've seen in the preview, I have a little, like, effect where it waves down. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick as well. Now, you're going to want to go back to your starting keyframe, and you're going to want to click on the stopwatch for X rotation. So you're basically going to be changing the X rotation, which the X axis is this one. Now, it seems like it's pointing this way, but it actually turns it forward and backwards like this all right so originally I like to start it at about negative 90 and then I go forward one two three four five frames put it at positive 30 and then I go one two three four frames go to negative 15 and then one two three zero. So let's see how that looks. Let's now we can run that. So that's pretty realistic if you ask me. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy that for every single kill feed. Now luckily you do not need to copy the tracked null any again so all you have to do is just go to that website, link will be in the description, um, create your kill feed, and then download it. Insert it into your footage and then place it. Now if you want it to do, for example, my character is just going to walk away from it, right? Once he's pretty, you're pretty sure that he's off of the footage, you can click it again, do Control shift t to cut it out. That way you don't see it later for some reason. Alright, so that's how you make 3D kill feeds in After Effects. It's probably the easiest way I know. Make sure, if you like the video, to like it and subscribe. And, as always, I'll see you in the next one.